Hello there, I'm going to uh, give you a little tour of this Dreamer D42 fun van conversion that we've got uh, here. Just arrived as a part X here at Highbridge. Um, I'll give you a little tour around the outside and then show you a few of the bits and bobs inside. At the moment I've got it made up into the sort of third bed when you walk in. Um, just to show you how that makes up, but then I'll probably stop the video and show it in its sort of living, travelling configuration. So it's based on the Fiat Giacato van. It's a 19 plate. As you can see, it's got the benefit of already having a, a two bike bike rack fitted and it's got a reversing camera as well. Lovely big uh, black alloy, these Fiat black alloy rims. It's a 2.3, 130 manual uh, six speed box. Right, let's go around the outside, show you the outside. So, on the passenger side, you have the bonnet release here. Okay, and the diesel fill cap there. And moving along, you have your electric hookup there. You've got the Truma vent there, so that informs you where the boiler is inside. It's underneath where the passengers would sit. Quick underneath look, that's your release for the water tank when you come to empty that. And talking of water tanks, there's your fill point for your onboard water tank that would service your shower and kitchen. Okay, mentioned the bike rack there. Nice thing to have fitted by the previous people. And nothing else on this side apart from this very large van door, which has a full fly screen. So great when you're on site. You can get all the air coming in, but no bugs. So there's a full fly screen there. So, I've, like I said, I've made it up into the third bed sort of configuration. Um, what else to mention while we're here? This step, there we go. So a little electric step to aid you coming in and out. So, I don't know if that's obvious, but you get these two metal legs which attach either side and then they have these uh, bed slats which uh, pop her on to these legs to make it secure. And then that, together with this cushion, make up uh, and the configuration of the travelling seats. I'll go in the back so you can show that a bit clearer. Now, if there's only two of you, of course, you wouldn't need that arrangement at all. Um, but I'll show you the bed, the sort of fixed bed at the back, in a minute. So if I angle down, I can show you that it's really just a third bed. You could sleep someone very small there as a fourth, but it's really just a, a, a transverse third bed. Okay. So I'll probably stop the camera now and put that back to travelling seats, uh, spin the seats around to show you those and then just show you the, the layout of the motorhome generally, okay? Okay, so we're back with this Dreamer D42 fun van based on the Fiat Giacato van here at Highbridge and I've got the van set up now as if you would be travelling and living. So we'll go around the back and start round there. So you can see that's where the cushion was for the third bed. And the leg, the legs there. So starting at the back, you've got the um, 
gas locker there, so room for a so that's a 13 kilogram sized um, propane gas bottle there. And then on the other side of the van, you've got your cassette toilet emptying point there. So that obviously tells you that this part of the van is where the bathroom sits. So let's go in this way. A little bit of storage there underneath where the bed sits and then this whole thing lifts off here and there's storage behind there. I've got the carpets stored in there at the moment. So then this is a very simple drop down bed. So you drop it onto a pre-existing support there and then the mattress just sort of folds over. And there is also a bed support which slides out. I don't know if you can see. This is very clever design. This slides out. The leg drops down, clicks into place. That slides fully out. And then you can flip that over and you can have like a full size double. Or you can have like a French bed, that unzips, push that back and have a little bit more walking space. So let's just flip that up again and push that away. So you can see that's very easy, that's one handed sort of bed slide operation. And yeah, you could unzip that and have like a French bed or you could have the double. Uh, so what else have we got? We've got a little bit of storage here and that's where your TV aerial is. So you would just unscrew that and push that up to get a good TV signal. A little hanging rail in there, which is nice to have. Um, two overhead lockers above the sleeping. You've got a TV point there with an aerial socket there and a 12 volt power supply. All of the um, windows have fly screens and full blinds. I don't know if you can see that if I angle up. So you've got a full blind and a fly screen on the two roof lights. So lots of natural light coming in. So the fly screen, full blind. And also on the habitation windows as well. Same idea, fly, fly screen and full blind. And then obviously you've got the fly screen, which I mentioned earlier on the big habitation door. Okay, so still at the back working forwards. Uh, here's the bathroom. Little natty cupboard there for your shampoos and such. Uh, this has got a little door which just pulls across to keep everything private. And then you've got your classic sort of Thetford cassette toilet, if I angle down and sort of like a wet room design here with the shower curtain and a, a tap which doubles as your shower head there. So a nice little sink, pull out shower, um, a little rail here for the shower curtain to go around, protect all the bits of wood and that. But a good size bathroom for a, a little dinky van. And then you've got this nice um, stainless steel sink, two gas burners on a hob. Uh, you've got three kitchen drawers, nice deep kitchen drawers. And uh, quite a decent sized fridge. Can I just show that with a little freezer compartment too? Okay. And in terms of storage, again, one more storage cupboard above the kitchen. And then just a little bit of overcab storage in here when you're traveling. And two more decent size, quite deep these, in the living area. There's your TV bracket. So that would pull all the way out and then rotate around. So you could have TV facing this way, 
or TV facing this way, or you've also got that TV bracket in the bedroom as well. Right, so this table um, has little extendable bit as well, which is clever, comes all the way around, makes up a huge table, or it locks into place there, and that obviously slides along that rail there. And you've got your two front facing seat belts for travellers, and then these rotating captain's chairs here in the lounge, in the cab. So there you've got your six speed manual Fiat Ducato. You've got um, aircon in the cab, little USB port there, and a 12 volt twin airbags, um, a speed uh, cruise control on the stalk there and lights indicators and washers on the other side okay so I think that's a good little look around this little D42 uh, the only other thing to mention really if we're going through the whole van is that's where your trip switches and fuses would be located and your battery charger there also worthy of mention uh, underneath here is where your boiler uh, water boiler and air blown heater sits and you've got two leisure batteries there as well so plenty of power as well for if you're doing wild camping so while I've got the camera like that let's just do a final little tour around so obviously you've got your cab there living area with extendable table huge fridge for this size van, little extendable um, work surface there. You got this fixed double bed, which obviously folds for travel, and extra storage, and then your bathroom. Okay, that's the Dreamer D42 fun van here at Highbridge.